What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Nita, your favorite diva, and I'm back. And I'm going to be reacting to a particular artist, a Black artist, that I was very invested in. And I liked his music, but they released a, like a documentary and baby, it's problematic. It is problematic. And, um, yeah. Yeah. So I want to talk about it because I think women need to understand, listen, wake up. That's all, that's all I'm trying to do. That's all I'm trying to do. So let's get into it. His name is Toby. He was like on like the BET sound stage. Like he comes on and he's good. Trust me. He's good. He's good. But when I say watch the person's character, that's what we about to do right now. Hey guys, I don't really know how to start this. Tell me, stop doing that. Just tell me how to start. Fat, you start by saying something about this is forever twisted. This is forever twisted. Thank y'all for tuning in. I just want to be with you. I like the way you do the things you do. Alright y'all, so we about to tell y'all about how we first met. Our whole story is unlike most boy meets girl stories. So, um, here we go. Is that good? And begin. So, when we first met, he was... I was live. I was, you know what I'm saying, I was walking in my purpose, I was doing annoying. my thing. I was like with God, I was low key like Enoch, low key just about to be transcended so straight stopped. up into the right. heavens with Enoch. my Lord and Savior. I, I just started a nonprofit organization. I had just started Team Guinea. I, we had just started like the movement to uh, make purpose popular. So I was like on on flames. And then uh, Fat had just uh, ran away from Grand Rapids. So I just came back. Well, not came back. I just got to Houston from Michigan. I had been here not even a year um, when I met Toby. And I left Michigan just because I just felt like God wanted me to leave. Like, it was just nothing happening there. I was going to get stuck in the box. Like, we from, like I'm from the hood. Like, hey, you trying to make it sound way more so, spiritual than it was. You talk I'm about into all God that. had one. That's, that's exactly why I didn't say it, because I wasn't getting into it. I was that. saying, you ain't got to say it, but you don't got to make it seem like it was just some type of spiritual encounter that made you come to Houston. What happened was something bad happened. You was like, oh, I got to get up out of here. But before that, I had always felt like I was supposed to leave, like I wasn't supposed to stay in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Oh, okay. That's what I... Wait. What? I don't know. I just, I just felt like, like, first of all, I felt like she's trying to tell her experience, her story, and he just, like, was jumping in, like, what? Anyway, <laughs> let's go. I was getting on. You just went completely oh, left. Anyway, so I was saying that it was just, it wasn't where I was supposed to be. And I knew that and I felt that. So when I had the, ch the chance to go, I up and left to Houston. So I had been in Houston not even a year when I met Toby initially. And we met at Higher D Church. He was doing a young adults. Uh, like event or something. Like I was that. out here serving the people like I usually do, and she seen me shining. She seen me shining. I, first like, of all, I, I met him there, and I didn't really see him. Man, stop guessing. At that, he thinks, y'all, he, he really thinks, like, at that moment, I saw him, and I was like, from that moment on. But I didn't really see him at the event. I just, saw him let me, at the Let me just be honest with y'all real quick while my hair ain't done. Fat said that her homegirl was like, ooh, there's some daddies in the church. Uh, this that church. was after it's the some church service. It's some that daddies was, in this church. She definitely did say it's that. It's some daddies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was just up there serving. It's some daddies First in this church. First of all, he, they, she, like, definitely did, I, she definitely did say that. But 
she said that after like the actual church service, not after that event. So oh, okay, God that was you. a different time. But anyway, um, he ended up inviting us to his like his nonprofit um, meeting. Like I don't know if it was the next day or like, a couple days after or whatever. So we ended up going, and uh, he was up. He was like you know leading the meeting, like you know getting all the volunteers together and stuff like that. And that's when I saw him. So then when I saw him, I was like. Man, I can marry this man. Like, this is, like, I felt like, you know, like he was for me. In that moment, I felt like he was for me. He was like... I was like, stop. Not at all. I was like, you, you ever seen somebody <laughs> when they look at you, they be listen, literally like looking all the way into your mouth? <laughs> like, they look like trying to see like what your tonsils are saying. Like, man, there's a vibration coming from the back of his neck. I'm trying to see... With that, all right, no, all let me show you what it looks right. like. Let me show you. Fat would like bend the corner <clears throat> and like come back around the corner like this. And I'll be like, hey, stop looking at me like that. Toby. All right, but continue. So, bottom line is, she was like, on like, oh you know my how, God. You and know how like, like boy oh meets God. girl, like boy find like things, like falls in love, like thinks girl is the one, like he knows instantly, all that stuff. Well, those roles were reversed. Absolutely. It was reversed. I was the one that was like, yo, like, you ready? And, and uh, he <laughs> hold, on, hold on. And before. Hey, yo. First mistake. First mistake, baby. First mistake. Like, what? Girl, get you a gallon of water, baby. A gallon or whatever does it for you. If it's alcohol, if it's water, if it's Kool-Aid, I don't care what the fuck it is, but I'm going to need you to get it. What? God. And before y'all think like, dang, what's wrong with him? Nothing. She ain't look nothing like this. Her favorite <laughs> store was Charlotte Roos. Ain't nothing she wrong with Charlotte that. Roos. Ladies, no, ain't nothing wrong with Charlotte Ruth. Right, if that's what you into, right. if that's what you into, Charlotte Ruth is, is cool for you. Don't be, don't feel bad. Everybody got different seasons. You gotta, you gotta seasons. know how to do it. You gotta, yeah. you gotta do it right. You so Fab was right. into like uh, body kind dresses and uh, vest on I top was of the out dresses. Here. Let me tell you, when I left Michigan, I was like, I'm in Michigan. I'm about to turn up. She had a bowl cut. It was. I'm talking he keeps about, saying that I have a bowl cut literally right now. Mm -mm. Uh, what I had was a pixie cut and ladies y'all know what the pixie cut is it's like when it's cut it like form your head it's cute and then you have like the bangs in front I had that I had uh, my little uh, fake holly berry going on he hated that haircut he said it made my head look big so yeah I was you know and I was managing Charlotte well I was working for Charlotte Russe at that time I think I was just about to get my management position but so I had the hook up so I was all in there a hook he up went, nobody he wanted he wasn't, he wasn't thinking about it. He wasn't like, he wasn't interested at all. He wasn't inter interested at all. Keep going, Fat. Wait, 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 wait. All right, what happened next? So, what happened next? You had two choices. You could either so, no. flee so from when, me. Uh -uh. So, when he, so when he was like, you know, I'm not. In yes, he said it. You could either flee from me. Or you could sit up here and be a part of the struggle love. What the fuck? What makes people do that? Like, I don't understand what makes women do that. Like, please. Like, no. Like, do you hear him? I'm like, he's sitting right there in front of you and he is fucking dogging you. Baby. Baby. Look. I'm telling you that this video that y'all made is not giving <laughs> what it needs to give. I am so, like, ugh, upset. But what I want to show you guys is that this is the mentality. If you step outside of yourself and you look into somebody else's, position and then you try to see like the mentality and how they think and I just want you to see how crazy you look period crazy fuck 
fucking crazy. To you or whatever, he told me. No, no, no. Me I said you. Like, I said wait, wait, I don't like you. Wait, yeah, Stop so he, looking he, at me like that. I he, don't like you like that. You are. You know when somebody look at you in church, you can't say like, "Hey, stop!" Like, get away from me. You gotta say something like, "Hey, sis, what up, sis? Come on, sister." He made it. He made it clear. <laughs> what up, family? What's going on, family? He That's made, what I hit her with. He made it clear that he did not look like look at me like in a romantic way. Sister of oh, and come on, sister in Christ. <laughs> Come on, all the colloquialisms. <clears throat> I gave it all to her. All right, keep going, fast. So I had a choice, right? He was very vocal, so I had to make a decision. I could either take his honesty and keep on moving with my life and just like not be affiliated with him at all. Or I could take his advice, understand that that's not what he wants. A relationship <laughs> is not what he wants. And I could become his friend. Hey, hey. Baby. I don't know what in the fuck y'all are thinking about when you're sitting up here when a man is telling you exactly what the fuck it is that y'all will sit up here and and, 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 and fantasize and oh my god I'm so disgusted like, I mean, like, girl, what in the world? You are living in fantasy. Like, girl, where? I don't understand. I don't. I just don't. I just don't understand what is going on here. I'm not understanding what is going on here. I'm trying to figure out what is going on here. Bitch, did you not hear him talking? When you hear someone speak, listen. Oh my God, I'm so freaking triggered. I'm so triggered. And at the end of the day, you cannot blame the man if the man is telling you exactly what the fuck it is, you got to blame you. You have to take some accountability for allowing this bullshit to happen. Girl, what? Girl, what? Girl, what? Oh my God. It's not, my a, life it's as that, as it's that, not as a relationship that. enough. I thoroughly wanted a relationship. I just did not want you. A it's, not, it's not that a, no. a relationship is not what he wanted. I just didn't want you. With me. Okay. There so we go. Let okay. me say with me. Praise yeah. God. It makes that much difference. It does. I uh, don't. No. We engaged. Um, okay. Touche. Exactly. Touche. Exactly. Touche. Touche. Um, so, so yeah, I had a choice to either take his information, walk away, not be involved with him at all, or I could have him in my life in some capacity. So I chose to like be his friend and still understand that he wasn't looking at me in a romantic eye or anything like that. Like it was just, you know, and I felt like, I felt like he was mine. Like he was like, we were supposed to be together, but maybe it wasn't how I thought it was. Maybe it wasn't in a romantic way. So I chose to be his friend. And I became with in intentions. I became with secret the intentions. The best friend he ever knew. It was like uh Roger uh to T and to Mary. Stop saying it was like that. Roger like Urkel to Laura. Uh, uh Myra to uh Urkel. Any type of obsessive friendship for for no, let me just be honest. Was Myra obsessive though? Out of was control. She she wasn't like Urkel. No. She was just very, she was just very like controlling with Urkel, I think. Okay, okay. okay. Wasn't she? I don't, I don't necessarily remember the, the fine details, but I just know that you was way, My it, it, it was, was a friendship, but point. you could just tell. Like, like, hey, uh, can you, and you would just be like, oh yeah, 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 that's no problem. Yo! <laughs> I cannot, I cannot believe 
I cannot believe exactly what I just saw here. <laughs> Y'all, what I want to say is that this is a form of self-sabotage, self-abuse. I'm putting him aside, ladies. I'm talking directly to you. You need to love yourself more than any person, man, woman, or child, more than any of them. Like, what are you talking about, girl? I'm sitting up here. Girl, when I tell you, like, if I could bust a blood vessel, I would bust a blood vessel that is how high this bitch got my pressure up i'm gonna need you to get some self-love i'm gonna need you to get some therapy i'm sure there was no man in the house there was no father there was an absent father for this girl baby when i tell you when somebody tell you who they are, I'm going to need you to believe them. She was talk like she literally on camera was talking about a fantasy that she made up in her head. And y'all don't see that? The male worship, the, 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 the patriarchy. Girl, what? Girl, I'm going to need you to wake the fuck up. That shit is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I'm going to come back with a different, like, um, another live reacting to the comments and the stuff that was said about this video that was put out. And I have to go through the comments and go through what they're saying Baby, do you see how dumb women are? And that, that in and of itself is what I always keep trying to drill in the head and the mind of women because they know they got you. It's, it's almost the same thing about the Democratic Party. They know they got black people. They're not going to do nothing for us. they just going to keep on doing the same thing. The same thing. Black men know that they got black women in a fucking trance. Like, wake up, bitch. Wake up. God damn it. I done got the fuck made. I'm, I'm pissed. Do you hear me? Pissed. Listen. I'm coming back. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you let me know exactly how you feel because this shit is fucking ridiculous. And if anybody come in here defending this man, I'll see you in the comments. I'll just say that. I'll see you in the comments. All right, y'all. Shit. Bye. Fucking piss me off.